Spin, can you say hi? Yeah. Say hi, Spin. Hi, Spin. Say hi, Olaf. Hello. You guys are spinning Olaf because it's the only way I can get her to say hi to you guys. Hey guys, so it's me, Kevin A, and I'm here with a video today, and we're gonna be talking about potty training. So Jordan is two years old, and she turned two on March 31st, and she is pretty much potty trained, 70% potty trained. She's not potty trained through the night, so we're gonna work on that soon when we go out probably is but I just don't trust it enough to like take her out of the house without her wearing a diaper especially if we're going to go play because I know how kids are I'm already a kindergarten teacher so I know that when kids are playing and they're caught in the moment they don't want to take a break to go use the potty so when we go out and when she goes to bed she is wearing a pull-up how do we get her to potty train first of all it takes practice so we started when she was about 18 months i started to hear like oh she should be potty trained or like one years old she should be potty trained so i broke went out i purchased a regular little potty for her and she liked to press the button but as far as getting her to potty on it nope. That didn't happen. So what we ended up doing was I let it go and I was just like, you know what, this is not working right now. Maybe she's not ready. So we moved on to other milestones. Moving into a big girl bed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, big girl bed. And if you want to see a video on my tips and tricks, don't like this video and I'll do another video on that. Potty training. So number one, um, it took us a lot of practice. So even though we let the little potty go, once we came back to it, once she was two years old, I ended up not even bringing her back to the little tiny potty. I put her on the same potty that I was using and she actually saw me use the potty since she was like one and a half, so, or probably before that, like all her life. I would say, mommy's going potty, so now Jordan has to go potty. What we did was we read books to her about pottying and you know, she would see the little girl sitting down because she oh, likes to read and she likes that. books and she likes art. Thanks so girl, I think with her, down. she's a visual learner already, I can see that. Yeah. And she learned from and the book so as happy, well as right? you know actually doing it so once once she started like going a little bit more on the potty she would never tell me like mommy I have to pee pee she would never tell me I would have to literally pick her up put her on there and wait for her to go how did I get her to go in the beginning she was very scared of the potty she did not want to sit down on the potty no mommy no I don't know what it was I looked up online like why is she afraid of the potty and they said something about like kids seeing their like poo poo or pee disappearing is weird to them but I don't know what her issue was it could have been that but yeah she just didn't like it in the beginning so once she started getting used to it I had to basically bribe her in order for her to get used to using the potty so I had to say Jordan if you use the potty I will give you candy Jordan you want candy yeah, yeah candy so I would bribe her with candy like Jordan if you pee then you can have candy Ready? Yummy. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's like before bedtime or in the middle of the day. I'm like, if you pee, you get some candy, girl. So, yeah, we would use um, candy and stickers and what else? We would toys. Because I heard like, if you have a sticker chart, she's too little for a sticker chart to even understand it. So we couldn't use sticker chart, but I did give her sticker a couple times. It. She likes candy over toys and stickers. So. You gonna get candy? Mm -hmm. Because you pee pee? Mm -hmm. You're gonna eat candies? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Y'all done? Mm -hmm. You ready to wipe? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do need to award your child if they use the potty. So, whatever your child likes, only you know that. If your child likes Play Doh or your child likes toys or candy, popsicles, whatever your child likes is what you'll probably have to end up giving, giving your child for using the potty but Jordan liked candy so we stuck with candy and that worked the thing was go to daycare when she's at daycare she would wear her pull-ups all the time so I'm like you know we're trying to be consistent at home how can we be consistent at home and at school so she is um, two and she's been going to the same daycare since she was six months old and it's a daycare and it's a school so it's a Montessori school so in her classroom they're learning how to count numbers and they all the kids in her class since it's Montessori they range from the age of one and a half to I think almost three years old and some of those kids in the class are already potty trained so I asked her teacher like can she wear underwear to school you know and she was like yes yes we encourage that because 
they were trying to help her to use the potty at school and she was in a pull-up. She goes to school, she's in underwear, just like she's in underwear or free balling around the house at home. So the school and home was on the same page. We ended up getting more consistent once she was doing the same thing at home and at school. The very first time I, I sent her to school in her undies, accident free. So I was like, wow, this is working. We have to keep doing this. I did not give my daughter a lot of juice and water to go to the potty. For us, I didn't feel like she was old enough to actually feel like that sensation of, yes, I have to potty. So we didn't do that. Number two, we did not get upset when she had accidents in the house. So if she had an accident, I would say, oh no, Jordan. And then I would actually get her to help me to clean it up. Uh, so she likes to do that anyway. If she spills something, she's like, oh, mommy, spill. And so we would clean it up together. And she actually does that if she has an accident. She would get paper towels herself and she would clean up her own pee with me. <laughs> have a morning or a nighttime routine. Like before, she, in the morning time when she wakes up, she sleeps with the pull up on. So we did not have to put her on the potty because I know she already went through the night. So when I would actually try to put her on the potty when she wakes up in the morning, she would say, no mommy, pee pee is all gone. She already knew, I already peed, so I'm not gonna pee again. So that did not work for us, putting her on the potty in the morning and putting her on the potty at night, that didn't work. Like right before she goes to bed, like maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes before bedtime, yes, we could put her on the potty, but it's not like, okay, this is our routine. You need to pee and then we need to go to bed. No, we would use the potty, take a bath, read a book, go upstairs, play a little bit, and put her pull-ups on and go to bed. So she is about 70% potty trained, like I already said. And at this point now, even now, she's still not that consistent with letting me know she has to pee. I have to literally put her on the toy 60% of the time. I am putting her on the potty and basically not like making her go, but saying, go ahead and pee, I'll give you candy, like that. And not all the time she gets candy for peeing on the potty. Like that's a lot of candy, right? I would shake it up, show it to her, or um, give her one piece of candy and the candy's really small I'll show it to you I'm like yeah you can get candy but she forgot all about it <laughs> so yeah. of course you do so this is the candy so you'll see that most of the candy is gone because she actually spilled it and we ended up throwing it in the tra most of it in the trash can but we probably had this for like two or two maybe two months and this is like a little small tiny chocolate for her to go pee like oh Jordan like it feels like she's a dog right but I'll be like Jordan it's time to go pee. Oh yeah. And then of course she likes pokey too. Right? And the very first day she had a successful day at school with pottying. We got a toy. And I think you picked. She didn't even pick a toy really. She picked pops. She picked pops. Like lollipops. She likes lollipops. So she likes candy and pokey and stuff. Potty! Hey. She's telling you guys she can potty. Alright say bye guys. Bye guys. Say pokey. What are you eating, pokey? Mm -hmm. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Do you have the potty? No. No. Underwear is important. She has the Elsa and Anna underwear. And she also has some very thick ones too. And she's looking at it right now. All right, guys. Bye, Bye guys.